Don Draper, compulsive liar, alcoholic, serial adulterer, slacker, controlling husband, and yet role model to almost every man in America. Since Mad Men hit screens in 2007, the creative director of a fictitious ad agency has been the man men want to be and the man women want to be with. Even nine years after the show's finale, the character of Don Draper holds a mesmerizing grip over the fantasies of men. Almost every man, in some way, wants to be Don Draper. I admit that I also somewhat idolize the Mad Men protagonist, despite all reasons not to, him being fictitious being the least of my reasons. In today's video, I want to dissect the complex character of Don, because there is a lot more to this suited up, chain-smoking Sigma male than meets the eye. A huge reason why men want to be like Don Draper is because they want to achieve the same levels of effortless success. On the surface level, Don has it all. The high status job and salary, the adorable children, the beautiful wife, well, two wives, the latest cars, nice clothes, and the respect of almost everyone he encounters. At the same time, Don barely ever works. He takes four hour lunches, disappears for days, drinks in the office almost constantly, takes frequent naps, and never works out beyond a few bedtime push-ups. It's the same as James Bond, he has every skill in the world under his belt, without ever practicing a thing. Watching someone achieve greatness without actively pursuing it is incredibly seductive and romantic for the viewer, no matter how unrealistic. As men, we envy these levels of effortless success, because we know in the real world how hard it is to win. So to watch Don dominate the game of life has the same appeal as playing a video game. We watch and vicariously enjoy the fruits of his success without any of the real world pain and effort. The flip side to Don's success is his incredibly dark psychology and past trauma. The show presents the incredible contrast between his perfect outer world and his terrifyingly claustrophobic in a struggle. The darkness of Don's character gives him the appeal of a villain. A villain is always highly seductive to a large percentage of the audience that gravitates toward darker themes in art. But for the majority of viewers, Don's bad side simply makes him more relatable and likable. Even his vices like smoking and drinking show us that he is as flawed and as human as we are. A holier-than-thou Superman who never puts a foot wrong is incredibly off-putting to an audience, because we are cynical of their perfectionism. But Don is cynical about himself before we even get the chance to judge him. We all have a little Don inside of us. He just takes his flaws to a cinematic extreme. And as we've seen with other shows, the anti-hero often becomes the subject of adoration. Take for example Tony Soprano of The Sopranos, or Walter White, in Breaking Bad. Now let's turn to one of the more positive qualities of Don that men aspire to. If there's one trait that every man wants, it's confidence. And Don has more confidence than an umbrella salesman in a sudden downpour. At times, Don's confidence crosses to the point of arrogance, and he is prepared to offend and even lose his job to say what he wants to say. His courage to speak from the heart and deal with the consequences is highly attractive to the modern man who worries he could lose his job over what he posts on Twitter. And on a more surface level, we admire his confidence in talking to women, pitching to high-profile clients, and even his body language. He is magnetically charismatic, without seeming to care what others think of him. In fact, he'll even tell others outright that he doesn't think of them at all. Don has quiet confidence, a personality trait we rarely see among influential men today. He is non-reactive, even nonchalant, and seems to be fully in control of his emotions. Although I must add that he instead bottles his emotions up until he reaches a point of crisis, which of course is very unhealthy. This quiet confidence, non-reactiveness, and veneer of control create a tremendous aura of mystery around the character. It's a level of mystery that would be incredibly difficult to maintain in real life but it draws people in and makes both the viewer and the other characters in the show want to peel the layers of his personality and know him better. Gentlemen, if you want to improve your confidence and feel like Don Draper, you should wear a high quality 
Masculine Fragrance. I highly suggest picking up this box set of fragrances by Mission Fragrances. Mission Fragrances is the company of my good friend Antonio Centeno, whom you may know as Real Men Real Style. I was honored when he asked me to support his fragrance line and we've worked out a great deal for you. Here we have three fragrances, Honor, Courage and Commitment, giving you the perfect option for every mood. I wear all three of these fragrances all the time, but my favorite is Commitment because it smells dark, sexy and confident. In my opinion, it smells like something Don Draper himself would wear. This video is not sponsored, but I've set up a fantastic deal with Antonio to get you guys $200 off this box set of fragrances, but only if you use my link. So I highly encourage you to purchase these wonderful Eau de Parfum fragrances, and I'm sure you will have no regrets. It might seem strange at first to consider that a big reason why straight men love a male character is because of his attractiveness. Sure, Don's tall, dark and handsome looks helped convince wives and girlfriends to sit down and watch the show, but why would a straight man who has no sexual desire for a man like Don study his appearance so diligently? Well, to be a sex symbol, to be desired by women as Don is, is perhaps the strongest wish of every man. But aside from his success with women, men are enthralled with Don's looks for their own sake. That's because men make judgments and form their opinion of other men using their appearance just as women do. Don has indeed inspired countless men to dress better. In my one-to-one -one style consultations, many men cite Don Draper as a reason why they love wearing a suit and tie. And if you care about improving your looks, there's a link in the description where you can book a free style consultation with me. I have one more point that explains why men want to be like Don Draper. Don and the entire Mad Men series represent freedom. To the viewer, the 1960s appears to be a much more dangerous yet exciting world than the one today. You could smoke and drink in your office, fire people on the spot, and disappear for days without anyone knowing where you are. In today's world of location tracking, HR and health warnings, the Mad Men era looks like an adult playpen where a man like Don could thrive. Whether people were actually more free in the 1960s is a different question altogether, but the show represents that period in a highly fetishized way that makes it easy to admire the glamour and liberation of this bygone era. To step inside Don's world, to see life through his eyes, is a refreshing escape for the vast majority of men who feel in some way that they would have had a better life if they'd been born in the silent generation. Gentlemen, I would love to hear from you in the comments. What is one trait of Don Draper you admire? What aspect of his personality or his life do you wish to emulate? Or do you view the character in a more negative light and perhaps have a different fictitious role model that you could share with us in the comments? Until next time, thank you for watching.